What's good, Chief? I'm sorry for not being at IRL, but there's no way I'm coming out of my hidey hole. But I'll keep an encrypted connection open to your safe house. I was having a chat with your mate, Richard Malik. Just a former SIRS agent in a former Albion drone talking shop. Anyway, he pointed me to this audio recording. You should give it a listen. Could be something big. Let's hear it then. And when you got a moment, give Malik a smack across the chops for me, will you? Do you mean there's no open investigation? Are you the police or not? We are, and I mean it exactly the way it sounds. My friend was a journalist. She was working on a story about sirs kidnapping people off the street, and then she goes missing. You don't find that the slightest bit suspicious? Look, the decision not to investigate happened way, way over my pay grade. Do you understand? Way over. You're fucking in on it. Jesus Christ! I'm hanging up. And I'm recording this. The journalist mentioned in that call seems to have run afoul of SIRS. And seeing as they've taken 1984 letters a dire warning and more as an instruction book, she may be in trouble. She needs our help. Agreed. Let's do it. I've marked her last known location on your map. You should hurry, though. It was dated recently enough that SIRS might not have caught up with her yet. This is where that journalist mysteriously vanished while she was looking into SIRS mysteriously vanishing people. Good place to start. We're bound to find something there. I thought we might be able to get ahead of those Stasi wannabes at SRS, but I'm seeing signs of a struggle. I've tagged a few pieces of evidence that I can analyze more closely if you get me some high resolution stills. Hey, do you hear that? It looks like there's something interesting under that car. Move it so we can have a closer look. We are keeping you safe. tracks left relatively recently 24.9 inch diameter common size for a large chassis vehicle like a truck or a van A notepad file is open. Looks like a journalist's. I've added a transcript to your data drive. We know she was here at least. Right, thanks. Someone spray painted the security cameras. Damn. What now? Oh, calm down. Did you think I had you take all those photos for my invite feed? If you find the CTOS hub, I can cross-reference the stills you took with the security feed and isolate the moments before the journalist was taken. It may contain a clue. Right.
found it. Here is the image just as the camera was blacked out. Notice the van in the background. The partial license plate number indicates this is a government vehicle. Intriguing. This confirms the journalist was most likely abducted by SIRS. You know who might know where an SIRS operative would take a questionably legally detained journalist? Another SIRS operative. I've got Malik on the line. Can we trust him? Do you have to? I suppose I might have an agenda. Then again, I might just be bored. Get to it. Look closely at the paint in the security still. It's not commercial. That's Kark paint. Chemical resistant. Military. Do you remember earlier when you saved me from Albion? Fuck you! <laughs> oh, come on, that was fun. Anyway, I didn't want the day to be a waste, so I installed a worm in their comms equipment that fed me, among other things, data on their supply requisitions. I just gave Bagley access to it. Looks like Albion just ordered a crate of cark paint in that colour to the Albion internment centre. Pushing the coordinates now. on your spider bot. This is the Albion Internment Center. That journalist who was investigating the SIRS illegal kidnapping program should be inside. Get her out. Clear. Drone, initiate the search. Help me. Okay. 
clear over here. Moving on. Area clear. Gonna keep searching. Let's have a look around. Uh -huh. Help me. Shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> Better not fucking aim at me. I don't see anyone following you. Thanks for saving my life and everything, but we need to keep this short. I need to get the fuck out of the country, like now. Well, I'm a dead set. How can we help? All right. Maybe you'll have more luck than me. See, Sir's found a legal loophole that lets them pick you up for anything. If your barber's banker opened an account for one of the tone bombers, then they can arrest you. No warrant. And the snooper's charter makes it legal. How can they do that? Ever since London got on CTOS, SIRS has full access to every email, every phone call, every CCTV stream, everything. When you give over that much information to the government, the question isn't how could they do it, it's how could they not? Look, we can help you lie low. Here's an address. Someone will meet you there with clean papers. Good luck. Once the journalist makes it to safety, I'll make DedSec resources available to her so she can finish her story. Good thinking, Bagley. Thanks for checking in, Chief. Me, I've been sort of torn up lately. An old friend of mine got jumped the other night. I want to go visit him, but, well, you know. That's dreadful. Yeah, it was a pack of fuckers from EPAF. They knew my mate ain't from here. They kept yelling, England first, England first, as they kicked the shit out of him. How can we help? I don't know. I don't know. Poor bastard. It's a classic paradox. The shittier a society gets, the less willing everyone is to share it. There's been a spike in anti-immigrant violence lately, perpetrated by organized groups like the EPAF. Fucking hell, Bagley. Is this guy in somewhere? The EPAF, or English Patriotic Action Front, appears to be unusually well-funded and organized. They could be connected to some larger criminal enterprise. Better suss this out. This is Kennington Park. Local news reports indicate it has been occupied by a group of violent xenophobes calling themselves the English Patriotic Action Front. interesting email on here. It seems the EPAF answers to someone calling themselves Kingfisher, who is pushing them to attack immigrants. Intriguing. What else you got? The laptop's GPS indicates a location where Kingfisher regularly meets with at least one EPAF member. I doubt they go there to swap football stickers or pick each other's hooves. Good place to start. We're bound to find something there. Pushing the coordinates now. This is where an EPAF organiser had his regular meetings with Kingfisher, who seems to be pulling the EPAF's strings.
Why do we have to meet in a police station? Makes me feel edgy. It's good cover. If anyone sees you, they'll assume the old Bill picked you up. Just weird to be sitting here without the old bracelets, is all. So what have you got for us? Names. It's a list of people in this neighborhood that Filament tells us will be prone to violence if provoked. You want us to start some fights? The bloodier the better. We want some nice, scary ultraviolence for Gran and Grandad on the evening news. Is that a problem? How do we know this won't come back on me and mine? Sirs wants the same thing you want. Everyone out of the Oval and the immigrant crisis resolved. You'd be doing a public service. Ha! <laughs> public servant. Who'd have thought, eh? Multiple files added to the data drive. And would you look at that? Kingfisher is an SIRS officer, so they're the ones funding the EPAF. Fuck me, Sirs is behind this. It's all here in the audio file, or you could just ask Kingfisher himself. The Met are lending him an office in this very police station. Wait, what did you just say? Why? Maybe it cuts down on his commute. How should I know? Find him and take him out so we can put an end to this EPAF business. Fisher is down. That should make it harder for those xenophobic goons to get their intolerant hands on military weaponry at the very least. Wish the same could be said for Albion. On a related note, you should probably scarper. The powers that be. Immigrant violence to justify coming down on them like a ton of pricks. Bright ideas, anyone? I've asked Malik for his analysis. The surface will bury it if you release that recording to the media, so you'll have to self-distribute. Sir's protocol says to do two things. Sow disinformation on the internet and distance themselves from the incident. Propaganda works, so no one will know what's true, and by the time the dust settles, anyone who could incriminate them will be gone. Let's do it. Agreed. Done. Got away! Shit! Do these things seem better days? We can always chop it up for parts. Don't chop me up! Wait, Bagley? I'm Bagley, your personal assistant. I make life easier in many ways. If it's fun you're after, there's a wine and cheese expo in Notting Hill tonight. 